you guys, welcome to week two of the CrossFit Open. I'm gonna be going over gear that you should be utilizing, mobility drills, and uh, you know, just your basic prep. All right guys, we'll go from the bottom up. So, for your shoes to, for this workout, um, I think all these shoes would be great, um, especially the Reebok ones, because you can do pull-ups in them um, if you use them. But if not, and you don't like the extra weight of the, all these shoes, I'll give you a nice flat surface to lift it. Um, I go in the regular flat shoe band or chuck, whatever you want. Um, choose not to wear. Get my off right now. Um, the Nike Freeze or any kind of running shoe like this because this little heel right here is going to send you on your toes in overhead squats. Okay? Um, so we're going to try to stay away from these and of course we're kind of a little squishy shoe, not that stable. Whereas the Ollie shoe is a nice flat surface, you're just stuck down to the ground in your um, perfect position. Okay? Um, okay, let's go to the knees now, okay? For the actual workout itself, I've actually used knee sleeves, um, just to want a little extra support because they're really kind of like high repetitions, high volume of movement while squatting, um, keep your knees nice and safe. Um, but even before the workout itself, I would actually floss your knees with the voodoo band. If you don't know what flossing is, go ahead and come on and ask one of the coaches here at Proper, and we'll go ahead and set you up with this voodoo band. Again, it does wonders if you have never tried it before, so go ahead and try this out. Give you a lot more range in your squats, and it won't feel like sticky. Um, so a little bit, I'm going to show you how to floss with the voodoo band, okay? We're going to start um, with my right knee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be wrapping the voodoo band super, 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 duper, duper tight. Super tight. Around the entire knee, all the way up the quad and the back of the hamstring. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty miserable. But it's good for you. And once you get that all wrapped, you're going to tuck it in. Okay? And all I'm going to be doing now is going to go ahead and squat, go through my squatting motion. Go for it. Keep four knees up. Always. Good. So you're going to repeat this movement about for 30 seconds to a minute, just flossing out your quad, your hamstring, all that good stuff prepping your knees. Cool. So after about 30 seconds to a minute, you can go ahead and release that band. All that junk is flossed out of that joint and new blood is gonna flush into the, into the joint, okay? This is the knee joint. Now you're all prepped, let's go ahead and do a squat test for you. Boom, so much range, guys, okay? So that's how you go ahead and prep your knees with flossing. See you later. Um, let's go up to the wrists now, okay? Wrists are super important. I know a lot of people complain about their wrists hurting when they're doing push-ups, handstand push-ups, um, lifting overhead, barbell stuff. So a way that we can fix that is through using a little bit of tape or your wrist wraps. If you don't have wrist wraps, I'm going to show you a great method um, to do for your, for your wrist with your taping. Um, so, we're going to start off with any kind of sports tape. This black one's really cool. It's black. Um, you're gonna give me, go ahead and give yourself spirit fingers. Yeah, spirit fingers, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tape, start on the outside of your wrist, kind of like high where the little fatty part of your hand is. You're gonna keep your spirit flip fingers and gently wrap the tape around. You don't want it too tight or else it'll get a little bit uncomfortable, okay? You don't even need that much tape. I just literally went around like one, one and a half, one and a half times, okay? This gives me a nice stable little um, extra support for my overhead position um, with the- Hey guys, um, one more hip stretch, hip prep for your overhead squats. Um, I'm gonna set up on an ab mat. I'm gonna put one knee down, same my right knee. Again, it's a nice lunge position. Hands on the inside of your leg, okay? From here, I'm gonna tuck that left leg back behind my right knee and let my hip drop to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna get a nice booty stretch right here. And what you're gonna be doing is grinding your hip in a little semi-circle. Okay, mobilizing to the outside, not to the inside here. All right, so we're gonna stay on the outside from like one o'clock to six o'clock. Just kind of grind through your hip. Spend about like one to three, one to three minutes on each side, each hip. And let's do a little squat test. So squat test. I have way more range in this right hip that I just mobilized, okay? Super essential for your overhead squats. Um, all right guys, we're gonna go over some shoulder prep or shoulder mobility to give you a little bit more range 
um, in your shoulder, okay? So I like this one, this is a personal favorite of mine. It's called, I uh, like to call it the trap smash for the barbell. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be putting a barbell on your trap. You're gonna roll up and down your trap so you guys don't feel too great. So you're gonna keep rolling, 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 rolling. Once you get that, we're gonna go through a little passing. So straight arm past the hip, all the way over past the ear if you can. You're going to keep grinding through this motion. Again, about one to three minutes or until change, so you feel change. After you're done with this movement, you go ahead and roll it out one more time. And then go and put it down. Just a little test, seeing my range of motion change at all. Yeah, a little bit less tight, you feel it. So this is my right side, this is my left side. Way tighter, it's all I got on the left. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and balance it out each side. All right guys, so that concludes Coach Char's 14.2 uh, mobility prep and gear prep. Um, good luck and most importantly, have fun, right? Have fun.